and in this one we're going to look at mobile editing on YouTube and also the Creator Studio. So to get started, and this is the most important thing about using mobile effectively and especially getting things to YouTube, is if we start off and look at my videos. And if you wish to start a brand new upload, then click the upload button. And then what happens is you're given something like this. Now, this is the piece of information. Let's look at what I did yesterday on Bluetooth keyboards. Now, if I wanted to upload that again, which I don't, but if I did, then we have the video that you can trim. We have a title, a description, and the privacy public unlisted otherwise. That, that's it. So if we go back, and let's just say that that is the first step. Then after that, once the video is up there in the cloud at YouTube, you can click on Edit. And then when you click on Edit, what you get is a title to edit, a description to edit, public, but in addition you get some tags to edit. And that's all you get. But watch this, because this is the very interesting part. So we come back out of that, back out of that, and if you like, close YouTube. You've got to make sure that you've got the studio, which is Creator Studio from YouTube, installed as well. This time, come into that same video that let's say that you uploaded for a second ago, and you'll see everything's changed in that what we've got is a thumbnail up here, and we can look at the edit button at the top. Edit thumbnail. Then what happens is that not only can you choose the three thumbnails, but you can change the custom thumbnail or add a custom thumbnail. That is huge. After that, you can see that we've got three tabs. One of them is, of course, the title and the description. And we can edit or add to it. We've got the addition of, of course, privacy at the bottom, but we've got playlists and tags. Monetization. If you wish to, you can turn and for advertising on if you're linked in as a partner with an account. And the one that I particularly like is the advanced settings where you get to change the category, the licenseship, the comments, distribution options and age restrictions. And that's, I would say, quite confidently that if I was doing this out in the field, in other words, just with a mobile, I would have no hesitation about using this mobile with YouTube and Studio and no need at all to go to a desktop machine. I would be quite confident. Then that would be fantastic. Have a lovely day.